John, 1-0 win, back up to seconds on the A-League men table. Uh, how proud of you of the boys tonight? Yeah, very proud of the boys because um, we knew it wasn't going to be easy. I know everyone talks about how many players they had out, um, national team duty, but they're a side uh, with players that come in and know their structure really well. They've been together for a long period now, three years playing that same system, and the movements are good, and we knew it was going to be a difficult game. And um, when we weren't uh, at our best, we had to dig in, and, and we did that, and we fought, and we defended uh, quite well. And then, um, and then when we were playing and uh, winning the ball in good areas uh, in the second half more so. In the first half, we gave the ball away uh, a couple of times when we won that initial ball. We created chances. We had a lot of good chances. I think Glover, you know, made at least six saves. It was, uh, you know, you think, is it going to come? Is it going to come? But um, it ended up uh, coming for us and it's a good result. Talk about City knowing their system and it means that you probably know what it looks like as well and tonight they had a lot more of the ball than you did but you still outshot them kind of went how you drew it up yeah because it's hard to get the ball off of them <laughs> it's not that easy and we know that we're going to win the ball in areas but we you know, the, if we can keep it a little bit better and plus they press well as well so but we um, we knew that we would be able to uh, create chances once we move the ball quickly and get into that final third the chances will come and you know we had a couple of really good ones early on in the game if one of those went in it might have been a little bit different the way the game went but um, all in all we uh, we knew that we could create and we did and you know it was a pity we didn't score one or two more and you're able to give uh, Nikolai a night to remember for his 350th yeah and he deserves it you know, the career he's had, um, the person he is, the professional he is, um, he deserved uh, all three points. He deserved to celebrate with the players. And it was great that um, Melbourne City also gave him a guard of honour. I thought that was uh, really good, you know, respectful and, um, you know, just goes to show what type of person he's thought about, you know, throughout the league. So great night for him. I guess just a bit of a comment on that minute. It got a bit frantic. You know, Dylan comes on, he um, adds an immediate spark. You get the penalty and then you score in the same play. I guess take us through that. Yeah, we knew that, um, you know, we're going to use Dylan uh, Price because, uh, you know, we, we thought he could give us that impact and, and he did straight away. He was positive, you know, running at players, uh, getting in, you know, good uh, positions and, uh, and you know, getting good goal scoring opportunities. He was unfortunate he didn't get one, but uh, that... that swung the game even more. We, we felt that in the second half we were starting to get the game in our favour and Dylan just gave us that extra lift and what I loved about the, that play was uh, yes, Di Martin missed the penalty but he didn't put his head down, he ran over and got the corner um, and he was, he was still up and, um, and that helps his teammates because they still see that he's up um, and they don't drop their heads so it was a great reaction from him and, and the rest of the group followed. What does that say about the character of someone like Diamante who's just able, you know, he's obviously got so much experience of able to just put that aside, focus on the job at hand? Great character from Diamante, but also, you know, that that comes with experience as well because I'm sure he would have scored probably about 50 penalties in his career and maybe missed 10. I know that happens, um, but, you know, it's not shying away from it, saying, you know, it's part of the game. And, uh, but it was, it was good that he didn't drop his head and we didn't think he would anyway. Certainly looked like he let the City fans know about it, that even though he might have missed, Stephen scored a few moments later as well. Yeah, I think because he had a hand in the goal because, you know, he, he took the corner and then he comes sprinting back into the box. And, uh, you know, to get that on the end of the, the right foot shot that ended up getting cleared and then coming back to Lustica, um, who was alive to it as well. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were giving him stick. That's probably why he went back at him. Um, coming out of this game, any injury concerns to worry about? No, no injury concerns. Uh, we know there's going to be a few players for tea, uh, that's for sure. We've got a game on Tuesday, um, but we just have to recover and, and make sure that we're ready for the trip to MacArthur and then uh, we'll stay and, and play against the Wanderers the following Saturday. So we're, we're getting players back in. We're going to use our squad because we know how important this period is um, to, you know, uh, rotate players and, and make sure that we, you know, it's not only this game, which we want to win against MacArthur, but it's uh, also the games that follow that we need the players uh, not breaking down. So, so I don't think that's been a, was if we were told about that. So your fixture against Victory next week has been replaced by the Wanderers? Well, Victory won, yeah, so yeah, I can say it.
good. <laughs> Are you yes. at home or away for that one? We're away. You're away. You're We're going away. to Sydney. Yeah, yeah. Um, for that one. Yeah. And January 29, end of the month, end of the window coming up. Anticipating any late business? No, not at the moment. No. Happy with the squad. Um, yeah. So at the moment, no.